Okay, um, I'm going to read a uh, poem by a short poem by a mid 20th century American poet, Wallace Stevens. Uh, and this poem is about reading, and it's particularly about the intensity of reading late at night. Um, I think it is one of the most beautiful poems ever, and I think it is one of the greatest poems about reading. Um, it is called The House Was Quiet and the World Was Calm. Um, I'm sure to make mistakes. Um, that is clearly my, um, uh, my problem and not Wallace Stevens. Um, okay. The house was quiet and the world was calm. The reader became the book and the summer night was like the conscious being of the book. The house was quiet and the world was calm. The words were spoken as if there was no book, except that the reader leaned above the page, wanted to lean, wanted much most to be the scholar to whom the book is true, to whom the summer night is like a perfection of thought. The house was quiet because it had to be. The quiet was part of the meaning, part of the mind the access of perfection to the page, and the world was calm, the truth in a calm world, in which there is no other meaning, itself is calm, itself is summer and night, itself is the reader leaning late and reading there. Um, it's obviously in this part of the world, the Northern Hemisphere summer, and the nights are uh, longer and um, I find myself uh, reading um, late into the night and it has a peculiar intensity compared to um, to reading other times. Um, one is more alone with the book I think and I think that's what Wallace Stevens captures um, the intensity of being at one with the book, the world beyond falls away, everything is calm, but between us and the book, the reading is this, is the intensest pleasure. Um, intensest is a very Steve, Stevenson, kind of Stevenson, uh, Stevens-like word. Um, but that's it, short poem about reading. Hope you liked it. Um, thank you very much.